label, that's me I'm in this bitch with TB I'm in this bitch with 4Tray I just pulled up me a A Real nigga all in my face 500 rats in my safe 500 rats to the plug What you know about your own love? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Michael. Welcome to the Channel. Make sure you guys click that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. Today, we're going to be reacting to Logan Paul's new video. It came out like three hours ago, and he's going to be talking about why he left the KSI conference. You know what I mean? If you guys seen it live, it was crazy. It was just like, you couldn't see it live. You know what I mean? but like, it was crazy. He left, and everybody's been giving out assumptions like, he didn't like it. He, he got torn apart. That's why he left. Or like, he just didn't want to be there. That's why he left. But today, we're going to be finding the real reason. You know what I mean? I'm going to try to keep this unbiased as possible so you, so you, every viewer can, you know, enjoy this video. But this is 18 minutes long. We're going to try to keep it under. We're going to try to keep it short. We're going to try to keep a skip around. Keep this entertaining. And let's get right into the video. If you guys are new, sit back. Real life and click that subscribe button because we're gonna react. Ah, peace. Not anymore. You guys are KSI fans. He's gonna be ripping into KSI, so you you guys might tr get triggered in this video. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna try to keep it unbiased as I can and and, and look at both sides. Okay. All right, we skipped to the, like the good part. That's a lot of people. Uh, yeah. British fans are crazy. These guys are going nuts, like in America when everyone screamed KSI, it was still like joy in the voice. It was like KSI, K These guys are like Jake <laughs> All of them. And holy ass, I was right. So Jake went on stage first to talk with uh, <laughs> Bitch Boy Deji, and I'm watching from the side, and I'm like, holy sh this could get like real life violent. These fans are crazy. It's Jake Paul! That crowd, that crowd is insane. Whoever from London, bro, shout out to you guys, because you guys are insane, bro. <laughs> like, they were throwing water bottles that were completely full. Someone threw a paper airplane at Jake when he was on stage. Who knows how pointy the end was? Catch one of those to the eye, and that's it, man. <laughs> When we tried to get out, they were kicking our cars, the gold rolls, and the gold Bentley. Kids were like Bro, climbing on top of what? buildings and sh. Got some Amexes out here. What? what? At one point, full paint cans were being thrown. Yes, full paint cans. Who does that? So I could kill someone. What are you guys doing? I'm just saying it's dangerous out there. That's a lot of people. He got... Oh! Punched in the back oh. of the head. My dad. Did he deserve it? Maybe. You can <laughs> see, like, at one point, at one point in the press conference, he took my mic. Hey, if you want to ask about the two dumb children, that's kind of crazy. Ask your mom, ask your mom about the two dumb children. And I was just like, "What the f are you do? How is no one wrangling this man back?" But whatever. <laughs> but still, I'm joking. He did not deserve. Don't don't sucker punch a 55 year old man. That's horrible. Side note: I think that dude did get tackled by like five security guards after that. Oh, oh, oh my God! God. Holy sh. Anyway, so then I'm asking myself, why? What what made these fans so aggressive and so violent? And then I remembered, Deji told them to be. You can go out and find them in London. If you do, do, oh. it, do what you want. Oh, okay. They're in our country. They're in our territory. No, no, no. You don't no. know how it is in England. You guys think you're safe. We'll shake you, twist the knife and leave it in. That's what we do. We, we're from there. That's where we're from. All right, so that was, I, th I feel like that was more of a metaphor than actually just like do it, you know what I mean? That, he's just kind of saying that London is like, you know, we we for real are we for real on the block, man. If you come over here, we we put the knife in you and twist that bit, you know. I don't think he was actually be like, yeah, put the knife in him, bro. Put the knife in him. Put the knife in him, brother. You know what I mean? I think he was just like, you know, just it was just a metaphor. That's the, that's what we do. Rest in peace, Logan and Jake Paul. That's what I'm saying. Rest in peace. Do what you will. Do what you want to Jake Paul and Logan Paul. I'm pretty sure this is against YouTube's policy for this exact reason. Wait, oh my. Okay, 
sorry for pausing it, but you know what else is against YouTube policy? Putting a dead guy in a video, you know. So you, everybody makes mistakes. Is what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? Anyways, it's my turn. I get on stage, and as you can see by my face, I'm like, I'm kind of already over it. KSI comes out wearing the blonde wig. I thought that joke was used in the last press conference, but apparently we're recycling content. Okay. Recycling it is good. I just feel like he should have maybe stuck with the bandana. Oh! So he gets right into it and uh, he makes a joke about my scene being cut from Baywatch. How are you? This is this is a good one. Try and audition for Baywatch. My bad. Get the part and still not end up in the final movie. That was a good one. Pretty good joke. I'm not gonna lie. He he got me good there. But I again, I thought you tweeted about this already, like multiple times. I I guess I just was confused. I didn't know we we're still recycling content, but okay. But apparently JJ's song made it somewhere in the movie, which is I mean that's YouTube cool. is full of recycled content. You know what I mean? People use content from years ago. You know? My song ended up in the final movie. I feel like maybe that's why it got an 18% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. And was Dwayne Johnson's worst performing movie ever, and in hindsight, I'm kind of glad I got cut. Alright, it's not to be against Logan Paul or anything, but if it was 18% rating, if it was that bad, you know what I mean? If it was that bad, then how did you not make it? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Everyone has my back. And no one has yours besides your ludicrous mom and your disgusting delusional dad. It's so crazy because I just thinking back, I feel like he said the same thing in the first press conference. No one has your back, bro, besides your ludicrous mom and your disgusting delusional dad. KSI, I, I don't know what you're you. doing. I thought sitting there at that table, I thought my dad and KSI were about to go at it on stage. He's standing there on stage, he's yelling, you could see like the vein popping out of his neck, even more than my shafty neck. Like, bro, look at this thing. Zoom in right now. That's just <laughs> crazy. So at this point, I'm like, holy sh dude, I don't think he's gonna shut up. And then he brings up my testicle joke, which is by the way, my testicle joke. No, hey, hey, hey. It's my testicle joke. So let me tell you about my testicle. <laughs> <laughs> How is he about to roast me with my own joke that I've made very, very public? I'm missing 15% of it. <laughs> what? Apparently you only have 85% of your testicle. Brother, are we still recycling content? Wow, these brothers sure are creative. Fuck the pool! Fuck the pool! Fuck Jake Pool! Fuck Jake Pool! Fuck the pools! The pool. But whatever, man. So I'm thinking, why is this so one-sided? <sighs> why did the moderator let JJ talk for? F I want to know why he walked off the stage. I think I think he get into the point. Five minutes and twenty seconds straight. Yes, I timed it. And why are we not talking about the fight? And then I remembered, holy asshat, this dude fucking hates me. Golden Paul, this kid's a big. F hey, 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 if he goes against, if he goes against, uh, this, if he goes against the moderator. I'm I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna like it, bro. Like you know, this guy's he's got he's got this guy's sweet. I like I like him. Don't don't. Too bad America. Just a douchebag jock. But he's not hurting anyone. You know he's a fucking idiot. But who cares? He's not hurting anyone. While those things may be true, and you or anyone is free to have whatever opinion they want about me, I just don't think the moderator of the press conference, the person who should be neutral, the person who should be the one driving the conversation. Should be a Logan and Jake Paul hater. What the fucking tits, bro? Hey. Whose decision was that? And he's the one who actually reminded KSI to call Jake and I out after his last. Hey, fight. Hey, hey, I want to show you guys something. You know what? Like he, this guy made a YouTube video. This guy made a YouTube video on why he let this thing go in. Okay. I'll give Jake and Deji both a chance to open their sort of set their stories out. Say what they want to say before we answer questions. I was expecting Logan to just jump in at some point and to stand up for himself against uh, JJ. I wasn't expecting him to just sit there. <laughs> see, <laughs> see what I'm talking about? Get the pop. Where were you? Laughing it off. He's gonna come back with something soon. I was wrong. Logan's looking at me repeatedly now. He's starting to look. Bro, you see what I'm talking about? He like he thought that Logan Paul was gonna say something again, like say something back. That's why. That's why he. Uh, just kept letting them go because he didn't want to cut Logan off, you know what I mean? Like, 
All of a sudden, KSI stops talking, and then Logan's about to talk, and he's like, okay, let's get right into the questions. All right. And then Logan Paul's over there like, but I wanted to talk. You know what I mean? He didn't want to cut Logan Paul off, so he was waiting for Logan Paul to talk. Because this is a press conference. This is supposed to be, you're supposed to be going head, head on. You know what I mean? No Logan Paul fans are going to be like, no. No. He was on KSI's side. No. No. I made an unforgivable mistake back in January, and no one yeah, is ever going to forget that. That is a part of my life now. I am the one who, at the end of every single day, has to look in the mirror and ask myself what the f went wrong in my life where I thought that was a good idea. So the further and further I can get away from the Logan Paul who did that atrocious act and thought that was a good idea, the better. And you'll probably make a response video talking about the forest and how disgusting I am because that's kind of the only route you can take right now. But guess what bro, we've all heard it. We all know, we all know I was wrong, we know I f***ed up. The difference is every single day I am working hard to craft a better version of myself, and you are not. For example, KSI, I did not want to take the low blows. I did not want to get personal, but you bringing up my girlfriend. You got a new girlfriend now, Chloe Bennett. What's up, babe? All right, first, why does he have the sad music playing in the background? Is Logan, Charles, is, is Logan Paul trying to make us feel bad about him, for him, you know what I mean? Is Logan Paul, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I feel like the low blows were like low blows, but like it's a press conference, like you know what I mean. Like go at each other, like you're. Right. It's like saying don't punch, don't punch too hard during the during the fight, okay? Like no, you're it's a you're supposed to go. They hate each other. Go at each other. the London press conference in my what was a mature attempt to handle this professionally I had my team send your team a message that I know for a fact was personally received by you <clears throat> message from Logan keeping this offline okay. does not cause a huge whirlwind that destroys everything we've been building the past four months KSI's comments in his video today regarding Chloe and her sexual relationship with Logan resemble an 18 year old KSI who sexually harassed a woman at a gaming convention and lost his Microsoft deal. A situation that we've decided to stray away from and contractually agreed not to mention. Okay. But quote unquote, you're gonna have to fuck her like a prostitute is a bit far considering what I've chosen not to bring up so JJ can keep his EA deal and YouTube Red Show, etc. Trying to keep it professional and not make an entire YouTube video about it. If he wants to keep hitting below the belt, that's fine, but I think the repercussions will hurt all parties involved. Let me give her the extra 15! But you didn't listen, JJ, and that's why I'm not gonna sit there and talk about your disgusting sexual harassment issues in the past. Today I'm with uh, massive tits. Where Okay, has it, you've probably, everybody's probably about to seen this video, probably seen this video, or like, like, you know these were jokes, like, I know, I know it was like, I know it was like bad, but like, there's thousands, hundreds, hundreds of videos out there doing what he did, doing what he is doing right now, but since he's big, like on the YouTube, like since he has 18 million subscribers, or 19, I don't know how many, it, you know what I mean, people, more people notice it, but there's hundreds of, hundreds of people doing this, you know? Where have your tits gone? Where have they gone? Yeah. What do you mean? Because I can't see them. Oh, that girl let him do that, by the way. Not big enough. Left... What are you doing not fingering yourself? Pardon? What? I'm being nice to you. You have a sister, Casper? What's her name? <laughs> Theodora. Like Dora the Explorer, because I'm going to explore her pussy. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to be like, you know what? I need that black dude. All up inside my b All up inside my sugar walls. I want him to blow his load all up in my b Cringy. Come on, KSI. You're a cringe. Cringy me. Why do you why do you look so upset, bro? Because <laughs> you keep talking about penetrating my sister. <laughs> I think that us girls need to kind of stand up for ourselves. Logan's gonna have to f you like a prostitute, if you know what I mean, huh? <laughs> Let me show, show her a real man! So you talk about my girl like she's a piece of meat. But you know women have a choice, right? You know, sometimes they don't like those comments, and I, I feel like you should have learned that from what happened six years ago. You know what I'm talking about. Women do have a choice. 
and the the treat the treatment that uh, girls have these these type of days of like how guys talk to her about uh, how guys talk about girls is like crazy and this is this is a good example but so Logan, Logan Paul is doing good right now you know what I mean like uh, he's tra he's he's bringing it to a sad moment you know like if he kept this hype he would have been he he would be losing but now he's trying to figure out every single little part that JJ did wrong you know what I mean I'm not even sure I have room to talk as I have been guilty of this in the past specifically with my music video no handlebars so who who's hypocritical in this way you know what I mean got 42 million views. This type of content no longer accurately represents my brand and the person that I am becoming. Okay, so this is no handlebars. I'm going over and I am deleting it from YouTube and... Good job, Logan. Good job. It literally looked me in the eye and told me he was God. G-O-D. God. That's where his head is at right now. I wouldn't get in the room. I'm, I, I'm, crazy. I'm an animal. I'm a yeah. dog, bro. If there were two of me, and I'm a god. You're, you're a yeah, god. Yeah, you're an animal. I'm a but god. you, you just said you were an animal. You know what I mean? He said he was god, but why would you, why would you, why would you say you're an animal? You know, like he's just saying that. I, I, look, Logan is like looking at every. Look, Logan is looking at everything too technical. You know what I mean? When when KSI says he's god, he doesn't mean oh yeah, I'm, I'm an actual god. Ooh, you know what I mean? He he means like he's gonna crush you. Not not he's actual God. He's gonna take over the world. You know what I mean? Like he's taking two things too technical. God. This is what, what God looks like? <laughs> Jesus Christ, we got some work to Yo, do. Yo, why are you talking about my son? Toast, he believes it. This is crazy. Although I would never, ever proclaim myself as God. I do recognize this type of behavior before JJ. You are me moments before I flew to Japan. I know this type of pretentiousness because this was once me. You're getting too caught up in the media, the money, the views, the clout, and you cannot see the train that is coming from behind you. He's not getting but caught up in the media, he's getting caught up in uh, fighting you. You know what I mean? Like he's, he's striving off of his, like all this all this stuff around him that makes him like want to be like he, you see in that have you ever, if you guys seen that like he was like he's like he's just looking at him like I'm gonna kill you you know what I mean the only day that's left is August 25th I'm ready you, my friend I'm ready. Are a stepping stone for me to get better <coughs> but like why why wait till now why didn't he say this during the press conference like you know what I mean he he said he didn't want to say this during the press conference because, you know, he didn't want to do this, but he's saying it now. So why didn't he just say it back then? He's trying to make us feel bad about him, you know what I mean? But, like, I might be wrong. I might I might be wrong. I know, I know I'm know i going to get dislikes on this video because, you know, I was, I was kind of I was kind of going towards KSI mostly because I don't, I don't believe Logan Paul right now, you know what I mean? He's saying all this stuff, but he's done it before. He, like, KSI has done sexual harassment things six years ago, it's, it's gone now, but Logan Paul has done it, like, a year ago. But that's, that's my reaction, I, I know, I'm sorry for all of the Logan Paul lovers that I kind of went in on, like, I'm just trying to, like, you know, I'm just trying to, just trying to keep it fair, I wanna, I'll react to KSI's response to this if you guys want me to, and I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you guys click that bell notification so you guys can see every update. Peace. Kodaka's new song is dropping today, by the way. Mm -hmm.